All right, people of YouTube. So you're probably wondering why it's been a minute. Well, two things. Um, I'm tired of replacing these motors. They are horrible junk. And I'm in the process of moving. So it might be a minute until we get some more out. Hopefully you enjoy this content. Uh, we are going for a chameleon. No idea what rotation it is, but there's the model number. Hopefully this a little lasts a little bit longer. Uh, it did come with a nice little carbon backing plate. Uh, about 20 bucks. It's gonna go into that guy. And another thing is I lost another one of these batteries. I don't know what it is, but stock stuff seems to poop out pretty quickly. Uh, next on the menu is we're going to clean up these fenders a little bit. Hopefully. We can, because when I first did them, they're a little bit of a hack job. I can do better. So, we do have the new Eco steering on there. Uh, it works great, but ironically enough, the second I got it on there, it made it about three feet, and the motor burnt out. Yay! That means I got stuck on the coat. Yeah, it happens. I'm going to try to back up, get out, and... Woo! Losing the stuff here. don't want to lose that. Might need that. Anywho... Well, here's just a quick update on this, and uh, hopefully the next half of the video will be this guy running again. So, be back in a few minutes. Alright, part due of the video. We got the chameleon brush motor in there. I did have to cut a piece of the battery mount off, but hey, it's no big deal. Otherwise, it fits pretty well. So, now we got it back together. We got the new servo on. See how it does. Well, it's definitely a little noisier, but it is a lot torquier. Ooh. Ooh. What power level are you on? Medium? No, high. Oh, you're on high? Okay. Oh, I also finished uh, trimming up the fenders. I cleaned those up a little bit. Hey, hey. Something is going on with my camera. Huh. Nice. I made it longer than five feet without breaking down again. Woohoo. Can you try it again? All right, oh, that's pretty steep, man. Let's see what I got. No, oh, that's easy for this thing now. You're almost cheating. Right. Oh, see if you can get through that little section right there. Toby, get off the dog. Ooh, you got it. You can recover it. There you go. Yeah, yeah, hands off. Yeah, you good. You can run the dog over now. <laughs> oh, careful. Alright, that's enough. Alright. Let's see. Let's see you go up this right here. Ooh, ooh. Gotta slow down. Try turning the other way. Uh, 
Once your back bumper hits the ground, you're pretty much done for. There you go, there you go. Yeah. Then we can add more water. That's better. Not too bad. So what else we got? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Really don't have too much to climb over in this house. And I guess you gotta get inventive. You gotta stay away from that blanket. You know that's a bad blanket. That thing eats tires and motors and all kinds of stuff. Woo! It's over. All right. Yeah. Okay. Anybody that's watching this, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you haven't seen the boat yet. Maybe. And I haven't seen the boat because I don't think I'm going to be doing the boat. Hey. That broke. That the tooth broke that. Remember that part that was Remember that broke? Use your steering. Back and forth. Uh, you gotta try something different. Back it up, do a different line. Go ahead with some different speed or something. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Let's not do that. It's a little too tall. Hey. You back up, mister. You might have a stronger motor, but you can still snap axles. <laughs> Playing with his little brother. Why don't you try going somewhere? We already know you can do this. Save it. You can save it. Nice. I want to put out like you. Uh huh. Hey, hey, easy, dude. You can see it driving in. Come on. Yeah. You do the same exact thing three times. But do something different. Uh, not different speed, different angle. You got to look in the front of this thing. It's got a screw that grabs everything in the front of it. And that's the very front of the car. Uh, I don't think they have a bolt big enough for that. I'm small enough for that, for that matter. <laughs> Toby, that'll hurt, kid. Now that this thing got the one of the bigger motors. <laughs> so, steering better? Yeah. Come on, dude. Mm -hmm. Me 
Don't worry, we got this thing alive. Yeah, so we got that one fixed. Now, here's mom's. Basically using the same everything as my old one. Uh, but I do have the purple front steering bar, a green four link, and a purple belly pan. We also have hot racing shocks. But other than that, it's essentially stock. I basically used the parts off of my other one that I built from this. So ironically enough, I basically just put this back together. But... Oh, and you're probably wondering why the uh, competition crawler isn't out from the last video like we said it was, because yeah. I literally got it running if within, I don't know, about two minutes, one of the axles broke. And it's the front. So, which one is it? Is it this one? The yeah. Front. So I guess we could technically still drive it, but it'd just be three-wheel drive, and that wouldn't be any fun now, would it? No. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive this thing for a little bit. Hey. So you drive it towards him? Really? Ow! Can you leave it alone? Jeez! It might be small, but those middle bumpers hurt if they hit your feet. Uh, it has nothing to do with the tires, it has to do with the fact that the steel bumper hit my foot. It's not. The only problem is, is we need a better controller. That one only has a two channel. We need a four channel. And then program it. And then put a front axle in the back. So, <laughs> so you basically need two front ends. So if we want this thing, I mean this thing a walk button and walk button. Yeah, it's still a rock crawler. Yeah, if you want to put four wheel steering on it, you can pay for it and you can do it. I mean, oh no. Yeah, that, that's on you. That's all complicated. You also need a better remote. So, like the one I have for mine, how it has a bunch of different remotes on it, different buttons. You can program all those buttons to do different things. I don't know where you drive it sometimes. Of course, you'd let me drive it because I built it. Unless you buy and build your own. And if you say you don't want me to use it, then I won't. I mean, if I buy my own and have the same setup, I'll give this one to you. Why? I've already got two of the same setups. <coughs> Pestering the old dog. Well, till next time. I know our videos are a little on the slow side, but hey, what are you gonna do? We're having fun. Hope you are too. Like and subscribe. See you until next time. Oop. Oh, look at that! Fell over at the end of the video too. <laughs>